Welcome to the broadcast. Our sign language interpreter this evening is Njoki Shege. We kick off our broadcast back in Egypt, where Bernard Ndong is standing by at the 30 June Stadium. Kenyan fans are charged for this big game against Algeria. Uh, Bernard, what can you tell us about their expectations? <laughs> well, Victoria, I can tell you for a fact the Kenyans are really passionate about uh, today's game. Uh, they turned out in their hundreds, they turned out in their thousands, some would say to some extent. But the numbers that I saw for myself were about 100. I can see this, of course, is uh, some of the fans who are just joining us here. Just shows you the kind of uh, atmosphere that we have here. For the Kenyans, in the clips that will be running in just a moment is, you could see the numbers, you could see the enthusiasm. It was a mix of politicians, uh, uh, of course, uh, Kenyans of ordinary, ordinary Kenyan folk, are just enjoying themselves, coming together, being unified by the beautiful game. They are all clad in the red and white, uh, two of the, of the main colors of the national flag, uh, brandishing their national flag as well as the charge drone, as you mentioned earlier. Heading into the stadium, they'll be sitting on the south side of the, st of the stadium. This is called the 30 June Hi, Stadium, where they'll be, of course, uh, trying as much as possible to silence the vocal Algerian fans like the gentleman next to me here and the other gentleman next to me. But, of course, for the Kenyan fans, they're confident that Kenya will have a solid start. But, Victoria, let me not talk much about uh, the national football team. Let's listen to what the Kenyan fans had to say ahead of their game against this team right here, these Algerians right here, as they faced off in the first game of the African Cup of Nations. Let's listen to what Kenyans had to say. Tunangojea tu masai fike tuweze kunyorosha huyu mualgeria kama kawaida sababu huyu ni mtere mkwetu. This time in AFCON, uh, the teams that people were not expecting to to play where they are really playing. So I am expecting Kenyans to, to score. We are going to make it. Kenyan Zima iko hapa na tumekuja kwa sababu ya timu yetu Harambe Stars. Algeria watakiona siku ya leo. Mambo ni maridadi. Na musichutuke tunayenda na ushindi nyumbani. Asante. Abu, si tulipanga 2021, tu, ndiyo tuwe AFCON. Lakini tumefika na tumefika na vishindo. Na tunamini timu yetu imejitayarisha viema. Na tunatarajia ushindi viema. Na tumekuja na furaha. Na tume, tunashukuru hata serikali na shabi kote wenye wako hapa na tunamini tutashinda. Tuta Naona nukushinda tatu moja. Eh. Kwa sababu vijana wamejiandaa vizuri sio kama miaka zingine. Wameenda ufaransa wamejiandaa wamekaa vizuri, wametrainua vizuri. Na maandalizi ya kwa sawa kabisa. Kufa wana pia wachezaji wa wana, wana, wana tajiri baju, wana uwezo wa kufanya mambo makubwa. Eh. <tos> Right, Victoria, those are the sentiments of some of the Kenyans that we met. Of course, they were a bit frustrated because they, they were locked out for some extended period of time because for this particular tournament, for any fan who's coming to access the stadium, they need to have something called a fan ID. So for some of them, I think they might perhaps have forgotten to have that important document. But it's eventually, they were all allowed in because they had the essential ticket and all the necessary credentials to access the facility, Victoria. The big worry, uh, Ndong, is the injuries that came just before this very important game. How are those teammates faring? And of course, in the absence of someone like Joash as well, how important is he as a player? Well, the absence of Joshua Nyango definitely is a blow at the back. It's important to appreciate that uh, or before the match, uh, the, in the pre-match press conference, the head coach of Algeria, uh, uh, of course, lauded the Kenyan defense and said that uh, we had been one of the toughest opponents in the qualifying round and one of the men who were playing that pivotal role at the back was Joshua Nyango. But as you see, these things happen. Uh, sometimes perhaps you would have planned and expected to have a, a starting lineup that you would have preferred. But unfortunately, Joshua Nyango got injured uh, on the build-up to today's opening game but uh, ultimately the coach will be forced to make some alt uh, uh, to, to do some uh, to alter the back some some of the key players to try and ensure that we are not able to leak goals remember he's facing a very very uh, very potent attack force the Algerians will be coming out guns blazing to ensure that they can be able to penetrate the resolute Kenyan defense despite the absence of Joash Onyango and what about the Algerian fans we saw some of them trying to co-host with you there uh, but what are their expectations and how is the Algerian <laughs> team as well 
Well, I can tell you, you saw these two gentlemen who are standing next to me. They're all brimming with confidence because they believe that they have uh, that football pedigree. They, they compare Kenyans as they compare Kenyans as minos. Contrastingly, their head coach was quite, quite, quite cautious as far as this game is concerned. But for the Algerian fans, most of them have they already made their predictions. The kind of scoreline that we are going to have once that game kicks off at 10 at around 11 p.m. Kenyan time. That is 10 p.m. Uh, here in Cairo. They are very confident, very certain that they will bag all three points against Harambe Stars. Let's listen to what they had to say. Um, I'm thinking that the result will be 4-0. And we didn't come here to play. We came to take the cup and come back home. That's all. People are saying that Kenya can also pull a surprise. You've seen uh, Uganda... Can make surprise, but it's a, it's a new team. And we, we trust them. So we think that we will win. With a big score, you know. Okay. Very, very confident Algerian fans there. Uh, Victoria, uh, I can tell you, they have been singing. I think what, the, what was fascinating about the Algerian fans is that they were supposed to access the stadium at a certain point, but they decided to go around the stadium just singing. I was waiting perhaps to see if they could meet the Kenyan fans, and that would have been quite the spectacle to see the Algerian fans on one side and the Kenyan fans on one side. But it's important to update you, Victoria, is that there's a game actually going on right now. Tanzania facing off against Senegal. Remember, it's an East African affair in this year's Africa Cup of Nations. We have Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda, and Burundi. Burundi yesterday had a wonderful game as well. You can see more Algerians. They are continue going round the stadium, round the stadium. Very confident. Very confident that they will triumph against the Arambe Stars. But for now, the action continues. Senegal are facing off against Tanzania. And after that particular game, the big one, Kenya versus the opponents, Algeria.